Okay, so I'm going to show you how to tie a, a leader for your fly rod. Um, a nine foot leader is kind of standard, um, and there's a very simple formula that'll allow you to tie a leader that'll turn over every single time. It was made popular by the greatest fly fisherman of all time, Lefty Cray. Picked it up out of his, one of his books a long time ago. I use it every day to, to tie up different leaders. So it's what, what I refer to, or what Lefty referred to, as the 50% rule. So what we're going to do is we have different uh, pound tests here. I'm just going to start out with 50, then 30, 25, and taper down to 15. Of course, you could taper down to lower or higher, whatever you want to do. So I'm going to start out with four feet of 50 pound. And then I'm going to take half of that length, two feet of 30 pound, then divide it in half again, one foot of 25 pound. Once I get there, then I'm going to double that last distance and I'm going to have two feet of 15 pound. And that's going to equal a nine foot leader. Of course, if I want a little bit longer leader, start out with five feet, go to two and a half feet, and on and on, and, and, and divide it by half until you get to the tippet section, and then double that section, and that'll give you a longer leader. So what I'll do is, I've already got some of these cut. I've got a four foot section of 50 pound right here, and a two foot section of 30 pound. All I'm gonna do is tie a blood knot. I'm gonna wrap four times around. So I'll do that one. Two. And what I do is I push it through with my, my finger, just like that, okay? And then I'm going to put it right through this hole right there. And I'm going to make a big pinch right there with the, with the line. And I'm going to wrap this one four times around. One. And I'm, see how I'm pushing it through with my finger? Two. And I've left plenty of tag in. Four. Okay, just like that. So now I have big tag ends. This one's coming through this way. I want to put this one through the opposite direction. Okay. So as I start to tighten the knot down, I should have the lines going in opposite directions, just like that. And that's good to give it a little lubrication. So I'll wet it down just a little bit, wrap it around my fingers, pull that tight. So now I've tied my blood knots all the way down. I've got my nine foot leader. If I want to tie it onto the end of my fly line, I can either use a nail knot or in the case of this, in the case of this one, it's got a welded loop on the end. So I'll just tie a surgeon's loop. Just gonna go through twice. Try to make that loop as small as possible. Sometimes I can just take the end of my needle nose pliers. I'm not going to crimp the line. Pull on it like that. Flip this off. And then I'll go through. And I'll go right over the top, put the leader right through the, the loop like that, pull it out, and voila, nine foot tapered leader for bonefish or permit, anything you want to catch, this leader will turn over every time. There you go, tie your own leaders.